It's Athena with Hard Shell Slimy Snail Productions and welcome to my studio. I know it has been a little while since I've had you in my studio and it doesn't mean I haven't been working. I've been making a lot of art, but I have taken a break from making some videos. I've tried, I got a fat cat. I've tried making some videos, but I do suffer from chronic migraines and it's just hard. Huh, this is Charlotte. Hi baby. It's hard to record videos when you're not feeling good. So I've just been making art. That's what I've been doing. And snuggling with fat cats. She gives me lots of uh, help. Yeah. <laughs> As you can tell. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna let go. But today is very exciting because today is kiln day. I get to open another kiln load and could you believe it? I get to use glaze that I've never used before. I got this uh, Potter's Choice by Amico. So today I'm going to open the kiln and see how the projects turned out. And I got Laguna um, B Mix Cone 5 clay. And it's my first time using that clay. So again, it's all a learning process. I did want to show you the mushroom I made. I was gonna make a video showing the process, but unfortunately I did have a migraine pretty much the whole process of making the mushroom. So I, it, that was a total fail trying to make a video, but I, I might still try to make a video, maybe making another one, but it turned out really cute. I made a pond with uh, for some turtles and some fish. So this is a little turtle house turned out really cute. I'm very happy. This is um, some of the mystery clay that I got from my aunt. Uh, so I wasn't really sure exactly what kind of clay it is. Uh, but I did come to the discovery that it is a high fire clay. So I used a stroke and coat, Mako stroke and coat. Uh, this is cotton tail and hot tamale red. And I did fire this to cone six in my new Scott kiln. This was one of the first things that I fired in my kiln. And I measured my kiln. So this project pretty much took up the whole space of my kiln. And it just turned out per really cool. It really, really cool. It's not perfect. It did, uh, after being outside, especially in the cold, uh, it did crack quite a bit right here which is fine. I mean, I'm learning. And like I said, I did have a migraine <laughs> the whole time I was making it, but that's okay. I'm really happy how it turned out and I'll make more and hopefully they'll be better. So yeah, that's that. So let's go open the kiln. I haven't even peeped. I think this is the first time I haven't even looked in the peepholes. Okay, and I thankfully used these little cookies that I made because I was afraid everything was gonna stick to my kiln shelves and I can't afford to buy new kiln shelves. So I made these little like cookies. Oh, thank goodness, cause look at the glaze melted. Woo, I'm so glad I did that. But wowie, wow, wow, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, this is I made little notes. What is this? This is the pointy pot. Really fancy, really fancy name, the pointy pot. And I used Royal Fantasy, which is a Mako um, crystal glaze on top of gold, which is the um, Amico Potter's Choice. 
So what's really cool is the Mako glaze is a low fire glaze, um, which, which is why I was really worried about it melting because I knew it would melt, but oh, look at this. Wow, what a cool combo. I am just blown away. And I did, so there's that. So I'll have to use like a grinder to um, get that off. And I did it on this too. Can this come off? Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's gonna be sharp. Look at that. Look, look at that. Beautiful. What a combo. I am super pleased. Oh, 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 okay. That's cool. Okay. Oh, and this one didn't stick. Wow. This is my beer stein. And I carved with my diamond core tool. And I used the gold on the handle. And for the green, I used seaweed, Potter's Choice. So this is the seaweed. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Can you drink beer out of this? Yes, you can. Okay, so let's let's see what else we got these are the almond jars that i made for my grandma oh my goodness wow she wanted a jar not too big something that you could put almonds in that fits your hands <sighs> okay so it's my first time ever making a jar with a lid Let's see if the lid fits. Look at that. Success. Beautiful. Wow. That turned out beautiful. Again, I use the Potter's Choice on the bottom and the Jungle Gems on the top. So it's a low fire glaze on top of a high fire glaze. So you get the melty and the crystals and it blends. Okay, here's my other almond jar. Very beautiful. So this is number four and this is lustrous jade. And then on top of it is the blue caprice. Very, oh wow, the colors. Oh, that's beautiful. So let's see if the lid fits. Wow. Perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. It just turned out so great. Look at that. Wow. I wasn't sure how uh, this was going to turn out because I know that in um, higher fires, the uh, glazes have a tendency of not really staying where you put them. I mean, that's what I've heard. And so doing a more fixed design, I wasn't sure if it was gonna spread and move around and not be defined. And, and I do see a little bit of spreading, but it still looks really beautiful. Uh, so I did use stroke and coat for the yellow and the green. And then I use the Potter's Choice Chun Plum. Yeah, so that turned out beautiful. Very, very pretty. So with this one, we did textured turquoise on the bottom and kind of halfway up or almost all the way up. And then on the top was the Chun Plum. So in the middle is the mixture of both. So yeah, it turned out really pretty and I did the same on the inside. So you just kind of get the mixture of both. It turned out pretty. Yay! My father-in-law has a sawmill and so I wanted to make him mugs that look like pieces of wood. So 
has the rings on the bottom to look like a log. And uh, yeah, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. So this one was just a total experiment. Turned out cool. I used just underglaze on the bottom. It is a little sharp, so I'm going to have to sand it. On the outside of this one, let's see. It's got brown and mocha marble. And then ironstone on the inside. The ironstone looks really cool on the inside. I almost kind of wish I had done that on the outside. It looks really cool. Turned out beautiful though. Looks kind of like a log of wood. And so I tried a different glaze on this one. This one's cool. You can see the rings of a tree. Very nice. This one I did a cracker jack brown on the inside and java bean on the outside. So yeah, they turned out pretty cool. Very cool. So those are my logs of wood mugs. Very cool. I'm sure he'll like those. He'll get a kick out of it. So there you go. That's my first uh, Cone 5 Potter's Choice kiln. So yay. There we go. Success. There is only one thing left to do, and that's to see if my bear mug works. So let's try it out. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> well, that was messy. Oh my gosh, it holds a whole can! I say that's pretty successful. I say that that is a very, very successful pour of beer. Thank you for joining me on my journey. Please make sure to subscribe and check out my website, hardshellslimysnail.com and see what goodies I have for sale, like this cute little mug. And if you are interested in joining my Patreon and helping me and support my art, an independent little artist like me, and help to continue my little studio, uh, go ahead and go to my Patreon page. If you are interested in any of the art supplies that I use, I will put links down below of all of the different things that I use, as well as my Patreon and my website. All right, thank you so much, you guys, for watching and for supporting little artists like myself. Have a great day. Bye.